Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you did really good. Congratulations. Thank you. You can call me Maxter now. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Holly. That's Ray. And this is our home, Sabado. Subscribe to Tag Along on the Adventure. We're heading back to St. Thomas right now to drop my parents off at the airport. It's been so fun having them on board, but this is going to be their last sail with us for a while. It's a really nice day though, so it should be enjoyable. here is so different than when we were sailing the Bahamas for example. I think it's just because the islands are so close together and there's such huge changes in elevation throughout. So you just get these huge gusts of wind out of nowhere. I mean just today I've seen six knots turn into 22 like that. sailing doing pretty good there's all the numbers little gauges things that we got to clean but hey look at we're sailing and we're going that way right next to that island but not too close not too close to that island We were hoping to anchor here, but it's looking pretty full. We just saw this guy bring up his dinghy, so maybe we'll hang around and see if he's gonna leave. Nope, on to plan B. This is nice. Why wasn't this our first choice?
Yes. Look how cute my little rose ice cube is. Oh, almost made a fatal error here. Okay. Looking as bad as I thought it would be. I actually pulled this towel off the ocean floor last week in Maho Bay, and now we use it to catch anything that drips off the grill. I'm using some leftover hamburger buns to make garlic bread, and then whatever veggies we had left in the fridge. Plus this wine that my parents left for us. Just coffee for two this morning. Hi! Right! <laughs> Good morning! Oh, they're best friends. <laughs> Good morning! What on earth? some of that on our, Insta our, oh yeah, our Instagram. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> what? That was crazy. <laughs> I decided to upgrade my captain's license to a master's because I have the seat time to do it. And I scheduled my final exam to be today at noon and it is currently 10.30. So I'm gonna take a couple practice tests and see how it goes. I keep getting like 92, 94%, which is fine. I think I only need a 70 to pass, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I got 100s on all my other captain's exams, so I kind of want to get 100 on this one too. I did get one wrong, so I got a 98, so I ruined my perfect score plan, but that's all right. Yeah, right, yeah I think you did really good. Congratulations. Thank you. You can call me master now. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have the boat back to ourselves again, which is kind of sad, honestly. No, I had fun. I had fun with your family. Yeah, it was we, so nice having them here. Yeah, we definitely had a boatload of, of people, and it was uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 Although we found some... Uh, uh, you know, the issues with our batteries sure was magnified with the, you know, the number of people that we had on board. Definitely. But. And it's gotten to the point where we have to run the generator in order to make water, which sucks because years ago we replaced our water maker because the original one that we had, we had to run the generator to turn it on. So we purchased this one with the intent of like running the generator less. And here we are yeah. back where we started. Yeah. I mean, the, the way that the way that we run the boat, our batteries, lead acid batteries, last a year and a half, two years. These ones max. have lasted, I guess, two and a half? Two and a half years, yeah. Although it was a, maybe like a year and a half of 
using them the way that we wanted to use them. Yeah. Which, yeah, they're, but it's, I mean, they, batteries on boats take a beating and these definitely take a beating. And so I think we're uh, really looking seriously about switching to lithium batteries. Um, you know, they're, they're getting to the point now where insurance companies are accepting them and uh, battery manufacturers are now coming out with batteries that are meeting the ABYC standard, which is, you know, the, the, the sort of the marine electrical standards. And so we've been, you know, we've been looking at a, a few battery manufacturers and there's only just a few, just a couple, three, I think that I've found that would meet the ABYC standards and what's called the UL 1973 standard, which is uh, Underwriters Laboratory, which is a, a standard that that I think is really important uh, for uh, for lithium batteries to meet on a boat. So yeah, we're gonna start reaching out to them and putting some packages together. And the thing with lithium batteries is that it's not just replacing the batteries. You've gotta replace a lot of components on your electrical system. Big projects. Big projects. So, and it's a project that I'm, I'm not gonna do myself. We'll, we'll hire an expert, um, someone who can meet those standards and those uh, insurance requirements so it's gonna be a long process but, yeah. um, but we're definitely in the research phase right now and then we're also planning our next haul out because we need to do an insurance survey before April but in the meantime we're gonna enjoy the nice sunny uh, warm weather of st. Thomas yeah and the BVI's not a bad place to sit around and Google and run, and run the generator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of the plan. I think we're, uh, you know, we got some chores to do today. We need to catch up on laundry, do a deep clean of Sabado since she's guest free now. Actually, we have more guests coming mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. uh, a few days. So get the guest cabin set back up, reprovision, pick up a few things from Budget Marine, I'm sure. So we're going to work on all of that. And then I think we're heading out to the BVI here pretty soon. Yep. That's the plan. That's it. That's a lot of laundry. rain came out of nowhere. The nice sunny uh, warm weather of St. Thomas. Maybe also look into rigid paddle boards. This is the third one we've had that just sucks. Total piece of shit. Total piece of shit. Um. I mean, you are pretty good at baiting hooks, so you're like. <laughs> you're also good at debating. Yeah, some would say you're a master debater. <laughs> okay.